in the center of the day, Cornell area. Yeah, it has to stay there because that's the safest place for the Peko tip. The, yeah. the left hand had, has to do more work than the right. Yeah. And if your hydro right. dissection was Stable. perfect, you should not be doing any IA at all. That's what you'll have absolutely clear bag and you're ready to implant the lens. You have a small bit here, sub incisionally, it's just hidden itself. I'll get it out. That's it. We are now ready to implant the lens. <coughs> That's what I meant for genius that it is the central area, the echo tip should remain in the central area and not move a lot. Now, the right hand should be steady. Double viscoelastic of size. I've, I've exhausted the. No, I, I'm not, there's nothing to do I here for. The cohesive is now gone in. We load the lens. This lens is the toric lens. You'll have to give me the eight degree marking on the Callisto eye. The Callisto eye has just been switched on. Yeah. I'll get the lens ready and then we'll refocus. This is a hydrophobic acrylic material which has got a hydro, sorry, hydrophilic material which has got a hydrophobic coating. And I don't know if you can see, can you make out the vertical line that is there? That's for the positioning of the toric axis. Lens is loaded. The pusher, I check that the lens comes right to the tip and we are ready to go. Look at the center of the light, please. Center of the light, please. You're doing fine. Can I have some viscoelastic on the cornea? Yeah. And a chopper. Now you can see the 0, 180 marking and the 8 degree marking that comes in blue. The yellow is the 0, 180. The reference axis and this is injection that is done using the wound assist technique you can see the lens going into the bag comfortably i'll tuck the lens in and rotate it to coincide with the blue axis so here we are lens is here you can see the axis marking there I'll rotate it. Can you look at the center of the light, please? <coughs> now you can see that the axis, the lens axis coincides almost accurately with the blue line. There we are. That's the 8 degree axis. The coincidence is quite good. We'll take out the viscoelastic and then align it finally. Yeah. I'm using a coaxial IA. Yeah. It's important in these lenses to remember to take out the viscoelastic from behind the lens also. always like to go behind the lens, you can nudge the lens aside and lift, lift it up and you can see the viscoelastic emptying out from the bag and finally you can position, if you look at it the positioning is quite accurate, the blue mark coincides quite well, there's no need to re realign, we'll hydrate the wound and we are through, you can see the blue mark perfectly aligning with the lens axis. So, look at the light, please. 
Look at the light, sir. Look straight at the light. Look down, sir. Kira Paranga. Look down. Look at the light, please. Center of the light. Ah, good. So you have the wound hydrated well. It's a small wound. The chamber is well formed. The axis of the lens coincides perfectly. That's fine. Thank you. Thank you very much. Do you have any questions for Arun? <laughs> yes, sir. <coughs> the only thing is, for the, you know, it is not a better idea to divide the pieces into as many pieces as you want before uh, you start uh, emulsifying the quadrants. I, I'm sorry, can you repeat the question? No, for the beginners, isn't it a better idea to first divide the nucleus into as many fragments as you want before you start eating it? I'm sorry, I, I can't understand the question. Can you repeat it again? For, he says for a beginner, Beginner FACO surgeon. Yes. Should we divide the nucleus into many quadrants? Oh, chop that's them and then you eat them up. No, no. The one thing that I'll advise even a beginning surgeon is if you're doing a chop or a stop and chop, take out the first small piece that will give the surgeon a lot of space in the bag. If you're trying to rotate a difficult to rotate nucleus and keep it, if you keep the whole lens in situ, even after chopping, it can make rotation difficult. Taking out one sliver out can make the whole surgery much, much more easy to do. So I would suggest if not taking out every piece as it comes out, take out the first liver, then chop it up into small pieces and take them out one by one. So, do, do you have any uh, tips to rotate the nucleus when the capsular axis is small? Rotation Sometimes will occur if hydro dissection is perfect. If you have to get a perfect hydro dissection, your fluid wave has to occur between the capsule and the cortical connections. Even if you inject into the cortical matter, you are not going to get good rotation. So it is imperative that the capsule, capsule is lifted off from the cortex. Then you go in and inject in that plane. You will get 10 times out of 10 a perfect hydro dissection. So the trick is to ensure that there is a good fluid wave behind the lens nucleus. Then it rotates easily. Yes. Thank you. So thank Anyone you. Wants